there's an obsession out there. Uh, you got to be careful who you listen to. Okay, I'm not saying you should only listen to me. I'm not one of those, you know. But you got to be careful who you listen to. Okay, we have a way of what to say over. We have something called a Messiah. One of the reasons why Judaism is so beautiful is because we have a derech, we have a path, and everything how to teach, what to teach. So our rabbis, for example, the great leaders that make a difference in the world, Chacham Ovadi Yosef, Reb Shteyman, Reb Chaim Kenievsky, all the big Reb Shach, all the big Gedulim, all the big Gedulim. Of course, they spoke about this topic of, I'm sure you heard of, called Gog. Uma, finish with me. Uma Gog. We know World War III is going to be a, a, a war between Gog and Magog. We're not sure if it's two people, if it's one guy, no one even knows. And like the Rambam writes, this is the Rambam. When the Rambam says something, he means it. We used to spend days in yeshiva about a few words in the Rambam, trying to understand what he means by it. And over here, the Rambam writes straight up in a sefer, straight up in a sefer, what to do about this whole topic that you hear about called Gog and Magog. He says, do not be busy with it. Being busy and trying to understand when Gog and Magog is going to happen. Who is Gog and Magog? Is it Trump? Is it Kim Chang hoon Is it Putin? Is it this? Is it that? Mashiach is coming at this day. Mashiach is coming at that day. All that says the Rambam will not lead you to fearing Hashem, which is very important because you want to serve Hashem, and will not lead you to Ahavat Hashem, to love Hashem. When you learn about Gog and Magog, when you're trying to find that exactly when Mashiach is coming at this date, that when this is going to happen, this war is going to happen, all these things is not a good thing. It does not lead you to good places to get close to Hashem. You truly want Mashiach to come? It's up to you. When Mashiach is going to come, it's up to us. So let's see. we give a date. Let's see, I'll tell you, Mashiach is coming, uh, I don't know what, May 22nd. May 22nd, Mashiach is coming. Basically what you're saying is, and until the Mashiach is not coming, that's not true, that's a lie, that's not true. Mashiach could come before that. You know how Mashiach could come before that? When we change for the better. When we can bring Mashiach, we determine when the time of Mashiach is. Nobody else. And that's what the Rambam says. Don't be busy with these things. Mashiach can come any day. And we say it and we mean when we say in the Animamins. Mashiach can come any day and he truly, truly can come every single day. Now I want to say something else also that I heard from Rav Shach, the big Galdador Rosh Hashiva Rav Shach. He was talking about the Six-Day War or the Yom Kippur War that happened in Nancy said, I think uh, Six-Day War was 1967 and Yom Kippur War was 1973. At that time, People came over to him and told him, Rav Shach, oh my gosh, there's so much sarot, it's so scary, there's bombs everywhere. It must be Mashiach is coming. Oh my gosh, Mashiach is coming. Rav Shach told him, I don't understand this. The Rambam writes straight up, when a tzara, how do you say tzara in English, is a good word for it, when suffering, Difficulty. when difficulties, when a bad decree befalls the Jews, says the Rambam, it doesn't happen for nothing. There's a reason why it's happening. And what do you do? Tshuva v'tfilah. A person has to repent his actions to become a better person. Each man to and related to their own level, of course. Tfila, a person has to daven. Says of Shach, the Rambam told us what to do. When something bad happens in the world, what do you do? X, Y, and Z. You repent, you take something upon yourself, no malash and har, for two hours a day. I'm going to start making brachas with more kavana. I'm going to start covering my hair more, ladies. Whatever, every person has their own mitzvah they can take upon themselves. I don't have to tell you anything, including myself. I also have to, things to change. Utfila, you grab the tehillim and you start davening. When you hear something bad happening in the news, you take action. Says of Shach, if you're going to keep saying every time something bad happens in the news, oh, Mashiach is coming. What are you basically doing? You're throwing it on Hashem. Like Hashem, the ball is in your court. This is part of your plan called Mashiach. So I, it's nothing to do with me. I, I don't have to change. It's Mashiach. This is part of the movie. You know, Mashiach is coming. This is supposed to happen. So Hashem, the ball is in your court. Let the, let the movie play along until Mashiach is going to come. Let all the steps, let all the chips fall, as they say. So the Shach has the wrong mindset. When you hear something is happening in the news, Hashem is sending you a message, you change the situation. You repent and you daven. When you throw everything on Mashiach, when you throw everything as part of the plan, you will never change. And that's going against the Rambam. Because the Rambam says, when something news, when something bad happens in the news, it's not mikra, it doesn't happen for nothing. It means tshuva v'tfila, you have to repent and you got to daven to Hashem. So another reason why I think this whole topic of Gog and Magog is not healthy, I'm not saying you shouldn't learn about it. Of course, you have to know everything, you have to be, you have to know Torah. It's Torah, this whole topic of Gog and Magog, World War III. What I mean to say is like Chacham Rabbi asked, to be obsessed with it. To be obsessed with it. I know people that don't keep Shabbos and all they talk about is Gog and Magog. That makes no sense. That's not what Hashem wants from you. Hashem wants you to change and keep Shabbat. So if Shach here said, when you hear news happening that are not good, you know what you do? You don't say, oh, Mashiach is coming. Of course Mashiach is coming, but I want you to change. Don't throw it at Mashiach. The ball is on Hashem's court. The ball is in our court to determine when Mashiach is going to come.